Hello and welcome back. And this one, we are quickly going to apply some V ray lights to the exterior lights. Instead of unhiding everything, I'm just going to gauge the outliner and turn on one, inter one exterior wall and one exterior ground light. Let's locate them and just turn on one of each. We did this because as they are both components, we just need to add lights to one of them and the rest will change. For these four lights, I'm going to enter the component once. Then I'm going to enter this bottom component once more. Any adjustment we make to the bottom here will also affect the top. Select this face and use a center point extension to find the center. Then we are going to bring in the IS light and we are going to select cylinder now. And there's no need for any reference line, so just click on the guide point. And as you can see, one is also being applied to the top. Now for the ground, let's do the exact same thing. So we are going to enter the component. Then we need a reference line in this point. So I'm going to activate my line to locate to the blue axis and just go up a bit. Click on the IS light. Select cylinder, narrow. And before we click, we have to hold shift. So while holding shift, click and then drag it upwards along our reference line. We can delete the reference line as it's no longer needed and we just need to run an interactive render. Press U to unhide everything. And at this point, you can also see all the very video lights have been added to each component even though they were hidden. Now let's open up Assets Editor. Make sure all your settings are correct for an interactive render. Run it and also open the lights tab. Just for now, I'm going to reduce the sun length for 0 0.1. This all the settings will be adjusted during final render depending on the intensity of our right light. I just want to make sure that the lights are looking okay. So so starting with the wall light, we are going to locate it, rename it, and expand the right panel. Just the Xbox and just do a bit of trial and error until you achieve the intensity you want. And finally, Finally, let's do the same thing for the ground lights. If these lights aren't showing, you may have to go to options and turn off shadows. I'm not sure why this is the case, but sometimes that's how we reworks. Okay, so and that's all the exterior lighting sorted and ready for when it comes to render time.